I mean, greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Once again, I am William Gorax, and I'm back again with a new game now. I was playing Pixelmon, and Pixelmon said no, so... So I have moved on to greener pastures, tastier pastures, and louder pastures, settings, audio, music. Let's just turn that off. And let's turn the master volume down to... Thirty. Jeez, that was loud. And is my stream picking it up? There we go. Bugs Nance. All right, make sure this is all good. Low, because I don't want to ruin everyone's day. Auto. Let's get into bug snacks. Never played bug snacks. I picked it up on sale recently. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, With Pixelmon saying no, seems like as good a time as any. This is not what I expected. Am I made of bread? What the heck was that? Rider, are you kidding me? What am I? I'm Harry. Okay, this is this is more cinematic than I expected. Bugsnax! 
prepared the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snake. There's nothing quite like them. There's one now. I got it. I got it. Ugh. Good effort, Bilbo. As for you, I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work. The Shadow of Grumpfoot, The Secret of Soylent Grump, stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truth. And also like me, you truly recognize your talent. You are just the Grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snacktooth Island. Together, you and I will share the incredible tale of Bug Snack. This is a lot more cinematic than I expected. <laughs> Why does she give me Mike Wazowski vibes? your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your Grumpfoot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some grump forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic! Remember that whole mess with Grump Lantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. Why don't you believe in bug snacks? What's wrong with Snack Tooth Island? What do you know about Elizabeth? She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. What's wrong with Snack Tooth Island? Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. <laughs> this is very... If very boomer humor. Why don't you believe in bug snacks? Because I've got a working brain. This well, is I'm absurd. Going. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Well, it is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbert herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Immediately fell off the boat before they even got there and then fell off the cliff. You're the one from the video. Lisbert, is that you? Oh, thank Grump you're alive. Too bad I'm dying, though. <laughs> Who are you? What? Oh, it's, it's me, Philbo. What happened? I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and oh, I couldn't catch any bug snacks. So this... <laughs> Where's Lisbert? That's a weird question, Lisbert. Moving on. You're not Lisbert. Oh, Grump. It doesn't matter who you are. Please give me something to eat. Sure thing, buddy. Hooray! Oh. <laughs> um, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? I know which one it is for me. <laughs> Strawby. A very simple snack. Watch the walking pattern. They're a little shy, but that's okay. They just need some space.
Oh. A scanda strawby. Oh, oh good. That that one's pretty easy to catch. Well, uh, you aren't me anyway. <laughs> okay, do me a favor. Come take my snack trap. <laughs> its tracks come out of this bush. Put the snack trap down there, and then we'll hide. behind this rock. All right, put that there. Come over here. Oh, nice. I'll pick it up before it escapes. Speed. Strawberry arm. Oh, this? Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks. I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. Come on out. A rubble. Can I go through here? Nope. I guess I gotta catch the flying one somehow. Skyrim. Strawby And let me go down here and see if there's something easier to catch than the flying thing Yep another strawby This is a cute little game Except for these things, they're kind of creepy. Awesome. 
You are a lifesaver, buddy. Oh, sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? Lisbert Megafig asked me to join her. Oh, you got the film. I helped Lisbert make that. I know who you are. You're the journalist. I knew it was stupid to ask. Lisbert said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> Don't gotta make me sound like that much of a burden. Buddy, I have to tell you something. I'm supposed to take you home, but Lisbert might not be there. Where's Lisbert? I don't know where Lisbert is. I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. Ready to go, buddy? Let's go then. All right. Through here. Yeah. Oh, the strawbies are cute. Hey, Wimbus. How's the farm? <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was going to bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Don't you want to come with? No. Why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbert around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh, we can't just eat ketchup. Well, it's better than nothing. You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't. Quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Bunger, 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 bunger. Ah! Bunger. Whoa! Bunger, bunger, Darn bunger! Get out of here! <sighs> hey, stranger, <laughs> I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my soft slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the bunger over yonder. What? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. So he's not entirely heartless. <laughs> bunger, bunger, bunger. Yeah, knock the tree down, Philbo. Don't go to sleep. You're probably concussed. Uh, uh, don't you worry. I'm a, I'm a little sore, but uh, I'll be a okay. I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. I'm sorry, stranger. I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. And those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. 
Well, I'll be cold and buried before those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup, and then let me eat it. Let's see if I can get one. Well, I tried. I'm back up here. Drawn with simple pigments, these murals depict the defeat of a giant bug snakes by the cave dwelling corumpuses. Give me a Frider. I like how they have curly fries for legs. Buds. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. All right, so I need to. Got ya. Siska Frog. Now. Siska Frog. Yeah. Already. Man, Let's check. I'd hate bug snacks if they weren't so darn delicious. Adios. 
So there must be another shish kebab. There it is. Shishka bag. Shishka bug. <laughs> I like how they sound like Pokemon. Shishka. Ah, that's good eating. All right, last bit of business. Let's get revenge on those bungers. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. <laughs> Shishka bag. Got a bunger. Okay, I'm 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 going silent because I'm really enjoying this game. dealt with for now, but they'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fixing to get my old garden growing again. Oh, you really mean it? Let's get moving right away. You know, you're a pretty good hunter. Like Philbo said, it's been rough since Lisbert vanished. Been rougher for some than others. Uh, hey, I sure could use help with this tree. Well, best not to dwell. You hold on, I got this. Y'all just get along now. I'll catch up. God. <laughs> Can I lure a bunger up here? That he made a ketchup pun. Uh, now that I think about it, there's gonna be a lot of those in this game, aren't there? Hey there. Um, I'm like, Bethica? oh my god, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope. 
Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. It says that because you wrote that in yourself. It also says you're a terrible leader. I... you... Uh, uh. Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb! <laughs> O-M-G. You're that journalist. I haven't seen a new face in, like, forever. I'm Bethica Winklesnoot, and I know everything about everybody. Can I help you? I love your snack scope. You and me are totes twinsies. I bet you've seen lots of great stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. I've misplaced my journal. My journal fell off a cliff. You lost your journal? No big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Befica has drawn this bug snacks on the wall, surrounded by little hearts. She seems very taken with it. It's a hot dog. I'm not going to comment. The journal is a record of all information about your time on Snacktooth Island. OMG, my favorite snack is Totes the Weenie Worm. I would eat them all day, but that Wombus guy keeps scaring them away. This is why I live alone. I'm not gonna comment. I'm not gonna comment. Way to play fetch. Okay, now open it up. Okay, can I leave now? See, everything you scan with the snack scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Philbo out of here. <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. She's very annoying. I'm guessing the loading screen is dynamic based, either dynamic based on what you've caught, or it just adds whatever's in that region to well, your list. Here we are. Woo woo wee! It's a regular old ghost town. I don't know what I expected. Without Lisbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh. It's not much, but it's still home. Let's get moving. I'm following you. Keep moving. Don't make this a Skyrim thing. Give me that ketchup. I'm sorry. I guess you're not going to get that interview with Lisbert just yet. Why don't I interview you? Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. 
Um, <laughs> ask away, I guess. Who are you? I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a deputy mayor. I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. Why come to Snacktooth Island? Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything and here I am. Thoughts on bug snacks? Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Any info on Lisbert? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. She always knew what to do, and she brought out the best in all of us. She leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. So that's how you became mayor? I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. What happened to Snacksburg? One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. Why didn't it last? There was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. I couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. I think we're done. Uh, Sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbert might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody listened to me, but... But you? You're pretty good at stuff, and, well, nobody hates you yet. Yet. Catch bug snacks, and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. Where should I start? You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. All right. Good luck, buddy. Several quests active. I'm going to the beach because I want to see new things. Snacksburg is inhabited again. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. Journalism is a useful skill. As is extracting feces from the latrine. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Egabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. What experiments? A bit of gastronomic biochemistry. Never mind the details. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> this is the snack activator. Feed me strabby. Poke snack activator in foot. Foot turns into strabby. Understand? Unbelievable. Very good. I will allow you to field test the snack activator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further. I swear if I come back and she's like, you know... In a wheelchair or something because she cooked her, f cooked her foot, like, I'm gonna be... What? Who? Who are you?
song's nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Well, uh, maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like a date? Of course, darling. It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. Singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. No! Uh, sorry. Every time I go to sleep around you, my snacks just up and vanish. So no to all that. But the date's still a maybe. Oh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration. Hello. Ta, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. I haven't seen you around here before. If you're looking for bug snacks, you best turn back. These little ones are my kin. I was looking for you, actually. Well, that's a relief. Sorry to be short with you. I haven't slept much lately. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an aspiring bug snacks breeder. Philbo told me to come see you. I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm running out of room down here. I want to get back to my barn. Trouble is, some of my snacks went missing. I'm not going back till they're all home. If you want to help me, then I got a friend to introduce you to. Follow me. <laughs> See that Strabby? That there's Sprout. I've been training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. We were in the middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. <laughs> okay. Good job. I got the buggy ball. Now what? He likes you. Oh, Sprout's always been a good judge of character. Sprout loves adventure. Always got along well with Lizbert too. Anyway, I'm missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please find them. Those little cuties must be so scared without me. Grapple. What was that?
Hmm. Come on out of there. be So certain ones don't appear in the rain. That's interesting. There's got to be a reason why it lets me pick these up. Can I throw them at the crapples? of bugs but because it's raining they won't come out so I need to wait for it to stop raining I guess No way to open it right now. I...
Hmm. Guess I'll go back to Snacksburg for now and... How's it going? This is the ship I was coming in on, isn't it? So it landed safely while I... like the Friders. Welcome back. Now that Philbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. Scan all the snacks here, but don't be surprised if they're not all. Okay, so. We gotta find another one of those creepy worms. Can I just go back to the previous region and come back and it'll be back or do I have to wait? I got the white strawberry.
Bunger, bunger. surprised after even if I don't believe in the grumpa cabra or whatever your interviews were always on point good picks too you've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies but enough about you let's talk Bethica I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is and feed it to me obs Bunger, bunger, bunger. Oh God, I hate him. Worm. Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to. And tell me, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. <laughs> Oh, wow. How'd this ship get here? Oh, there's a balloon? Huh. You know, it, it looks just a little bit, um, exploded. But I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. That's mine, actually. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I I'd love to fly it someday. Uh, this game, it's, how you, an interview, all right, but keep it short, I got work to do, all right, let's do an interview with him, I guess, who are you, Wambus Troubleham, farmer, Welcome to Snack Tooth Island. To start a farm? Can't you start a farm back home? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Thoughts on bug snacks? Oh, uh, what do I think about bug snacks? They're pesky, tasty, and confusing. What's so confusing about bug snacks? Well, they ain't animals and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Why did you leave town? Well, 
When Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. What's your problem with Gramble? That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. Philbo said you have a wife. Where is she? Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. None of my dang business. What happened with Triffany? <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. Doesn't take much to knock them all down. Any info on Lisbert? Uh, respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again. Or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Who is Dr. Batternugget? Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel. Liz's partner. What happened to Lisbert? I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. That's all. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work. Wombus gave you notes to a strange device. Check your journal for details. Sleep until midnight. I didn't know I could sleep before, so... Go up this way... Her star has faded. Orange peel bug. It rolls up and hides inside holes or logs. They'll have to be pushed out some.
Oh. You got my little ones back. But, geez, you spooked them real good. They don't even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. I still got two Queevils missing, but I want you to bring them to me without catching them in your trap. Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate and those Queevils will follow him till the end of time. Uh. <laughs> Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starstruck. Don't fret, darling. I always have time for my fans. Will you come back to Bug Snacks? For you Snacks Bird. Me to... Ouch! You want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean bug snacks. Change starts from the outside in, darling. If I want new ideas, I need a new look. Mm, how about a wild new hairdo? Get me a pine angela and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> I missed you so much. All right, and the next one was was over here, wasn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Ashley, you're back! Don't you ever leave me again! You did it! Oh, my kin are all together again! I'm so happy I could cry! Here goes. <laughs> no. Bad. I'm ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a life of adventure. I'm just holding him back. Sprout, your papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. You're going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see Papa anytime. Got it. Financial. Financial. Yeah, that struck a chord. With a new head, I can think new thoughts. That's the magic of bugs next. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. This flow is more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. <laughs> well, those grape skeetos only come out at night. What? What was that? I, uh, I don't know what I heard. It's not what I was trying to do, but... That's kind of dark. I just fed a bug snacks to another bug snacks. And I don't know where she went. Grape, 
The colors are striking, no? And now the ideas will flow. Mm-hmm, they gonna flow. Ooh, any second now, come on now. Uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. <laughs> hmm? I don't know where that is. Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. How do you come up by that theory? Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before, fresh and gooey like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough. A root and a fruit. Adios, amigo. Hmm. So what would be a root? I don't know where to find anything like potatoes or anything like that. Uh, hello. Another fine day behind us. Have time for an interview? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? Let's start. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family. And I thought I could really use one of those. You don't have a family. I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? What's on bug snacks? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. But everybody does eat bug snacks. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. When did you leave town? Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while. But I should have known Wambus never quits. 
What did Wambus do? <sighs> the next night I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Are your bug snacks safe from Wham from Wiggle? Maybe. Wiggle's a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Any info on Lisbert? Lisbert? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. What would she do with the bug snacks? I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Hmm. Can we talk about something else? What happened to Lisbert? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lisbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can we talk about something else? We're done. You can relax. Ooh, I don't think I like interviews very much. Here. Lisbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. Oh. It's a key. Neat. What's up here? Nothing. I can't use this bridge. I... <laughs> Hello. Hi. <sighs> I suppose so. Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. M maybe a half dozen or so? <laughs> okay. I don't know why you had to tell me that through the window. Hey, 
Hey there. I'd be real grateful if you don't. I've been trying to. Bye. So I found a key for a locked diary. And that is still locked, so oh, hi. And Tropic a bug. Got it. <laughs> I got the Hawaiian style bug. How's it going? Take care. there. Oh, they're all so cute! Thank you so much! Hopefully my little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. I need to find a root bug snack. How's it going? Raspberries and strawberries are fruit. I don't think that... I think I've seen one fruit. Bunger. God, I hate him. around the flavor it's not quite as healthy as you think Yeah. 
God, I hate that thing. I'm sorry, that's a jar of pickles. The jar protects her from- Ah! Perhaps it can be grappled away. No poptic. Interrupt. These stitches must be hundreds of years old. Okay, that's... Okay, let me go back to the garden. See, this game is not at all what I imagined based on how it was described. I thought, like, 
you would play as an animal and try to eat the other animals. Everything okay? Thank you kindly. I'll get those bug snacks growing. You'll see. I wonder if she would notice hey. if it was. Find the other grumpuses. Find... Goodbye. Hmm. I might go back and get a couple of those prop tits from back there and see if those work. Yeah, now I can donate them and get inventory space for more later. Okay, so apparently, uh, that's a common thing. Aggressive. Why is this reminding me so much of Outer Wilds? It did not count. It was worth a shot. Let me check something on the stream real quick.
No skipped frame alerts. Okay, so my new internet can actually keep up with me streaming. That is... I'm, I'm very happy about that. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's... He won't be back here, so I should probably follow him to town. to a hard day's work. Get along now, stranger. Nothing like a campfire. Still want to know where the key goes to. That's it down there, ain't it? Agabelle's key will probably be with that doctor that gave me the thing. Ten PM to one AM And I have two minutes two minutes until then, so Hello. I've been trying to breed bug snacks together. It's been real tricky because they don't got any obvious um bits to them. Take care. That's uh disturbing.
God, I love the noises they make because it's just it's it's just people saying their names. Traffic a bug. <laughs> They're Pokemon. Farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted. But I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy. I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. Well, that's depressing. Serving the islands. Thanks for waking me. He sleepwalks. So he did see her. <laughs> OMG, Wambus has a fake cactus wife? Like he wasn't prickly enough already. Ten out of ten perf dirt. Uh, Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town. Bestie. 
God, I hate her. I wonder if I fed her enough of those hot dogs that she seems to love so much. If she would turn into one. Where does he wander off to? Because he thought he knew where she was. You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Befica here. She's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Hmm. I'm curious. If I interview her, will something else come up? I thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. I'm Befica Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. Sure, but what do you do professionally? <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? Is that fun fact unrelated? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble, and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. Thoughts on bug snacks? Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Why did you leave town? Ugh, there's drama, and then there's drama! We have too many Geminis around here, and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. And that's why you were living in a cave. Uh, hey, my cave was sweet. Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. But what specifically made you want to leave? Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then he tried to sell me her projector. So, I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. Any info on Lisbert? What don't I know about Lisbert? Wink. Please answer the question. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Okay, I'll bite. What's her weakness? Egabel. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. What happened to Lizbert? Liz and Egabel got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? That's everything. Thanks, Beth. No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. 
It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. How many more secrets are you keeping? <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie. But this cabinet. Oh. Just you watch, buddy. I'm still repainting all the huts, but it's taken a while because I don't have a lot of paint. And the last batch made me pretty dizzy. <laughs> You're really yeah. doing it. You even got Bethika here. <laughs> She's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Yeah, let's do it. Well, howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. <laughs> Remember Charlie? How's my little sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Grandpa, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Oh. I'm guessing because I have the music turned off as well. That's a bug snacks. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug-infused. So it's about as strong as you? <laughs> I give this party a two out of ten. Uh, come on, everybody. It's a party. Woo-hoo. Drink, mingle, be wild. 
B Befica, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love. That's why your wife left you. I'm going to do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath. <laughs> don't act like you're in charge. If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here. Don't you mean Triffany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! It don't make me wrong! You all want Triffany back so bad? Go find her yourself! Well, that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, um. thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Well, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. That's the spirit. Strabby. Oh. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, as long as you're fine, I'll um, I'll get out of your hair. Uh, okay. Evening. I only came out here for Triffany, but sometimes I wonder if she'd do the same for me. Get along now. Find the other Grumpuses. Till next time. See, and now that I did the party, the desert's open. So now I'm gonna go get the scorched whatever it is and end this off with uh Well, maybe end this off with one more grumpus, maybe two. Yes? Oh, 
goodness. Huh. I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? Oh, that Hi, accent. Tiffany Lada blog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? Yeah? Will you come back to Snacksburg? You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> Maybe some sauce could get it to move. Yeah, there we go. The mural depicts Grumpuses opening a section of wall near the river. They are carrying some sort of parcel. Those things are easy to catch. Isn't that nifty? Like they have bones. They're squishy all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, that'd be real swell. The one I already opened? Oh, you're too kind. Get out! These murals are still preserved. As far as I knew, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, what's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? 
Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Have a good one. Find and enter the hidden ruin. How can I help you? Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you? Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 bug snacks. What do you say? I do not want or need a bridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you. Cheap as free. Follow me, pal. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? Uh. Okay, so... Are there are too many rocks. I need another rock. I didn't realize what I was doing. lunch. Hey, hey, you can pay me three of those cheapos. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth. Okay, so it gave me a way of getting the things to fly. That's nice.
Maybe some heat will puff them up. This way. Okay, so those are the two pop ticks I needed. Where'd that go? Oh. 
Okay, well, let's try this again. Go put it where that thing can't get it. Put that there. I just... This is 2-5 brain for me. Keep in the white one. Bunger, 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 bunger. bunger. Oh, 
Gonna light it on fire because it's annoying me. Alright, put that there. Let's eat. Yeah. Okay, okay. I know you're just itching to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want a fighter, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock. And it wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. <laughs> Okay, where's the Frider? I want a Frider, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and it wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. Hmm. I haven't seen anywhere any fighters anywhere around here.
Hee hee, how those two violent creatures. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that.
can just go around. See, I have no idea what the sweet frighter is. I'm thinking it's on that rock, but I can't get up there. God, I hate these scorpions. Wait. Aha, there he is. Finally found the stupid Frider. They didn't say where he was or anything, so there was no indication of what I had to do.
Almost had it. Got it. Stupid sweet Friday. I disliked that. to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs> Scorpion. So I've got a Hey buddy, I got something to show you. Follow me. I don't like that. <clears throat> Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox! Lisbert was gone most of the time, so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we just leave it in here. And since you've kind of taken over Liz's job, I'm sure we can do the same with you. Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> oh, and what's this? I think you might have a letter right now. <laughs> Dear buddy, that's you. Thanks for walking me back. Well, what do you think? Great question, buddy. And that leads. I was thinking you could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut. I know it's kind of a fixer-upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're gonna finish it someday. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating. Okay. There's a build mode. Thank you. 
okay then. All right. Oh yeah. Big heart flying in the sky. I like that. That's cute. Hey, buddy. Bye bye. I'm gonna go down to the beach and give her those two things. And I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. <sighs> Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough, folks may. Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. Okay, there's her done. Oh god, I've got to be ne neighbors with her.
Oh, hey, buddy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and, uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Bramble, dear. Are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry. I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. Uh, of course you do. Come on, Gramble. Surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Any more? Maybe. But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. Oh. It's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Uh, d don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Ugh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a thing. <laughs> She goes to chase them down. Evening. I only came out here for Triffany. But some get along now. Hey! Oh, that old coot Wambus. He thinks bug snacks grow if you plant them in dirt. How's that make any sense? Bye now. Hey! Find the other Grumpuses, find out what they know, and can... I'll see ya! Huh? I am no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. God, I hate her. Not as much as I hate the one girl, but a lot. Who are you? You've certainly heard my number one single, Do the Wiggle. Okay, there's implications in that name that I'm just going to ignore. I had it stuck in my head for a solid month. You see, Wiggle Wigglebottom needs no introduction, darling. Why well, come to Snacktooth Island? Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. To get my creative juices flowing, as it were. So your juice isn't flowing? Oh, well... You know, no hit can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggle's World or Wiggle Baby one more time, and... I've been accused of being a one-hit Wiggle. Thoughts on bug snacks? Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. What price is that exactly? Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. Why did you leave town? That's simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. Are you using Gramble for his food supply? No! Goodness, no! I love Gramble. I would never! He's far too sweet. Like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Any info on Lisbert? Ah, Lisbert. She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Does that happen a lot? Not nearly as often as I'd like. What happened to Lisbert? 
That night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. What is this queen of bug snacks thing? Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz crossed paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Thanks, Wiggle. That's a wrap. Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record it's true. If you don't <laughs> believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. We will give you a map to Liz's last location. Check your de journal for details. Need something, Wiggle? If you're not busy, darling, I could use a helping paw. It seems like your run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing. I need something... Oh, spectacular! I overheard Wambus talking about a sandopede. A snack made of many pieces working in harmony. That may be just what I need. <laughs> I know where the sub sandopedes are, I just don't know how to. So oh, that old coot wet. So oh, that old. Take care. I just don't know how to catch them. It's kind of funny that the canned soda is sort of named after Dr. Pepper. Got it. God, I hate those stupid worm hot dog things. They're so creepy. Sandal, 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 sandal
Catch these things. Had a pickle. Okay, so I can't dig through solid objects. Oh, 
feel bad. Dang it, fell off. Okay, this is not the most intuitive thing, but it is possible at least, so... Sandal, 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 Sandal,
There we go. Uh, I got the sub centipedes, I'm good. <laughs> This is where I fell. The door was over here, wasn't it? Yes. Hidden Ruin of Secrets. So is this door not it? I'm not in the canyon, am I? Nope, the canyon's the next zone. I'm stupid. Sandals, 
I got a lot of sandalwood pieces. Too bad it wasn't that easy the first time I tried. Dr. Sodi. Two sub centipedes. What's up? Sandup. Sandup. I can feel the harmony building within me, but I'm still not quite there. I'm sure this seems excessive, but it's just, it's the, it's the creative process. Do you know how I wrote Do the Wiggle? No, but do tell. I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was gonna sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks later, I had a platinum record, and apparently, I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. Okay then. What's going on? Hello, bestie. I was just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But, like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. See ya. Midnight. Um. Come on, Quibble. Don't be shy. Come on, come on. Wiggle needs a midnight snack. Oh, darling! What are you doing here? Oh, so it is. Well, you just let me fix that. Good night, darling. Ta ta.
I wonder what would have happened if I woke him up first. Let him walk in. Nasty habit. Uh, I feel bad for Gramble. Those two just aren't gonna last. In my old life, I would have killed to get dirt on Wiggle Wiggle Bottom. Uh, I used to take pictures for GMZ, you know, and whoever else might be buying. What were you gonna tell me earlier? Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. It's easy to get caught up in nostalgia. Have you found any snack pods yet? They're the best snack ever because they don't even move. But they're a little hard to find if you aren't observant like me. There might be some hiding by my old cave. And I know a certain Grumpus who might want some. Making me go back to the cave again. I have noticed this game has a problem with fetch quests. How you doing? Oh, that old coot wham. Take care. I did not mean to light myself on fire, but it happened. Find the hidden...
One Scorpenio. Okay, now I go up here. It would help if I aimed it. Found it. A lazy little worm. It's only motivated by its hatred of ketchup. God, I hate the weenie worms so much. How long those snacks were in there? Did you find anything else in the chamber? A massive trap pit. A lot mm, of corpses. That's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm. Well, I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. What about Wombus? If Wombus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. Ah, <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to C&M, but it's just easier to, uh, stay out here with the bones. What about your research tent? No. Wamba's dressed a cactus to look like you. Oh, my sweet dear. I guess the big love really misses me. Well, I miss him too, but I'm still mad. I thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave, and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. Yay.
you're back. Oh, I had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you going to stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Trippy, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. <laughs> I wasn't going to give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Uh, maybe even lend a helping paw? You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. I just hope the cactus doesn't get jealous. What's it now? Nothing. Ooh. Ooh. Stranger, I won't mince words. Thanks for bringing Triffy home. So long, stranger. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm sad. That made me too happy. It's one of those happy, cried, sad things. Yeah, words. Those exist. Where'd she go? How's it going? Hey, Wambus. Nice <coughs> interview. Oh, sure. Sounds like a real hoot. Got a cowboy and a Canadian. Well, that's more of like a Minnesota accent, ain't it? Who are you? Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. And your name? Oh, goodness, my name. I'm Triffany Lottablog. Why come to Snacktooth Island? I heard about the trip to Snacktooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or... I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. Who is Grandma? You might have heard of Veronica, Lotta Blog. An adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Thoughts on bug snacks. Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. Why did you leave town? It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Gramble's throat. Is that why you and Wambus split? No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Any info on Lisbert? Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. You two get injured that often. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so. But the Lottablog method can be unconventional. 
bug the heck out of Agabel. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. What happened to Lizbert? You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lizbert wound up. Thanks, Triffany. I learned a lot. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... You have something for me. You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Uh, uh, okay. You picked up Liz's notes on a secret code. Check your journal for details. According to my research, shy weenie worms just can't stand ketchup. I don't want to see exactly how much exactly. Would you please scan the shy? Okay, so put ketchup on one and scan it. Fill my ketchup up real quick. I... I don't even have the snack grappler yet, so I can't use it anyway. on the trees. God, the bungers. I, I hate the name, but I love them so much. Hmm. 
All right, let me see what I can do here. Down we go. Where's she at? Do I need to give it to her or? Oh yeah. Oh no. I was playing games in the caves by myself when a frighter tried to climb in the window. I panicked and threw my bag at it and missed. Huh. Darling, I'm in trouble. I was one walking the beach with my sack of my old grumpy awards, like I do, when I was struck with a powerful wave. I shook it off, but my awards were carried out to sea. Let's see what I can find. So, there was something else I needed to do up here, wasn't there? Sweetie fly. Uh. He was at the beach, so maybe it'd be there. It's that. Sweet, 
Got it. Grumpy snack pod. How high up I can get. See if I can uh, Okay, I found it. I just need to get to it. There we go. This game is very fun, but it's very repetitive as well. the snack to him. And that'll give me this. Huh? 
What? Pattern on a tablecloth. Oh. Huh? Like a campfire. What's up? Ah, So it's like a, like a strabby, but it's not. So I'm assuming it's the white strabbies from over here. Uh, let me. This is the only thing I can think it would be. Ah, <sighs> another fine day behind. <laughs> Yep. It was a white strabby. How you doing? There. Oh, hi. I love nothing like a camp fire. And A shy weenie worm covered in ketchup. Hey, I get it. Let me out. Okay, so there was a shy weenie worm. Covered in ketchup. Got that done. God dang it.
we go. It's a shame there's no fast travel. Okay, so sprays water in any salsa seas. Let me test my theory here with something less important than the soul soda can that's here. Okay, so that does work. How... Oh, my God. 
Ready. I'm confused on how I'm supposed to do this. Unless this counts as well. Hmm. There's probably a tool that I'm supposed to have to you to do this with that I just don't.
Okay, so it can exclusively go backwards into the water. So I just can't do this right now. There's probably a tool I'm supposed to be using for it that I haven't gotten yet, and I am too tired to mess with this. I wonder if I can shoot it out of the air. With the slingshot.
I'm going to get this cow hopper. I'm too tired for this. I just realized how silent I've been and that's not how I want to first time viewers to see me. I will be back for you. And the sweetie fly I could probably get it. But... Webbone! How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Yeah, let's do it. One last time. Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beats sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there. Just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow. I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, where were we? Um, uh, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stips may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little crumb shrub. Now hold on. You saying Grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. <laughs> no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah, dog Grump. Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> Okay, it was the noise from that that scared me. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I. I I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. Oh, no. We got toilet demons. Sorry about that. What a mess. Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just the title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, uh, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is out there and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grump and snacks it's coming for us I said she's coming for us yeah yeah she's gonna get us oh Ooh. 
no need to freak out. It's probably just a, uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wimbus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> Hello? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah. Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay. Oh, darn it. Oh, well, let's get back and tell the others. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Chitney, hello. Oh, hey, how you doing, all right? Hi! <laughs> <sighs> Darling, are you ready? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, hey! Catch a white cheese poop.
go. I got the white cheese. Oof. And I'm going on up. Go on, Charwee. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't. That's fine, too. Off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe. Maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwee the ropes. What do you say? Alrighty. Now just use Sprout to lead Charwee back to my barn. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Charwee's a good boy. Yes, she is. I'm not thinking with sauce. I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out we love you, Papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Another fine day for finding. Feed me that rare. me darling the truth I don't know why I bother I know I don't have any real talent <sighs> sorry darling I need <sighs> here's to a hard day's work nothing yet I think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. <laughs> Nothing like a campfire. I got two spuddies and I put both of them in the thing, so that works perfectly fine. Nice night out. It's almost 3 a.m. Why am I still playing bug snacks? I don't know how that worked, but it did, so I'll take it. Wham 
Rufus, you heartless monster! Stop burying the little ones! You mind your own business. Besides, I thought you wanted more bug snacks. You know that's not what I meant. And that's not gonna work anyhow. That's so. Well, you go and let me know when your pets are expecting. I will! That's not for me. No, you go and feed that to Felbo. Then, hole up by the outhouse for a spell. When his business is done, gather up the fertilizer. Oh. You know, uh, night soil, waste, spud cruds. Come on, don't make me get crude now. God dang it. All this time, with no poop joke, and now they have to throw in a poop joke. I'm so disappointed. Hey, buddy. <laughs> for the gift, buddy. Though, suddenly, I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. <laughs> Why did they have to make a poop joke and make it into a mission? How you doing? Woo wee! That stink could raise the dead. Whew. That's bound to be potent enough for my soil. Thanks, stranger. I'm. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Shaking, baby. Oh, yeah, the new way opened up. I think I'm going to end off here because I've got six out of the twelve people.
the heck did I just witness? I'm afraid. Okay, there's nothing that matches whatever that was here. Hey there, how's it going? Hey! Sometimes I wake up at night, and I see something out there. Like, I try calling out to it, but it disappears before Bye-bye. Yep, that's what I just saw, and I am not wanting to see it again. How you doing? Ooh, what? Anyway, I'm gonna end that here for tonight. I my instincts are telling me to keep going. But it is 3 a.m. I need to sleep. So. Y'all have a good night. And. To anyone who stopped by and watched the stream. I hope you enjoyed.